Yes, don't forget that Doggy Diamonds No Filter podcast. It's an actual audio podcast that can be heard on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all DSPs. If you do not know how to get to that, it is right in the description box below. You can find the Apple Podcasts. It's under iTunes. You can find the Spotify. You can find all of that right below. Also, for only $100, I promote whatever you need on my social medias and my website. That's my Twitter, Facebook, Insta Stories, YouTube community. And my website, which will be featured on www.doggydiamondstv.com. Hit me up on Instagram at Doggy Diamonds for your promo. Serious inquiries only. Must be cash app ready. Let's get to it. Back. What's up, y'all? Okay. It's late. I'm not going to stay on here all night, but I just, you know, do this quick, 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 quick build. Then I'm off this. So, let me just come on the screen really quick. And just spill my spill. Then I'm out. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Doggy Diamonds. This is Doggy Diamonds TV. Um, all my social media is there, Patreon, any way that you want to get up with me, support me, is right there for you, you know, um, it wasn't brought to my attention, but it came to my attention, um, via a Tasha K interview, and it was a Tasha K interview with Young Pharaoh. And I like um, some of Tasha K interviews. And I was wondering why he was on there. Because her, her interviews are normally like celebrity driven or stuff like that. So I was wondering why he was on there. And when I watched the interview, um, I was like, hold on, what the hell is going on? Um. Young Pharaoh is somebody that I've known for a long time. Personally, um, I once had his telephone number. We would shoot texts back and forth. I can't say we spoke a lot. We did a classic interview right on his channel. I asked him to do an interview. He did it immediately. A classic interview on here. They didn't monetize it. They actually age-restricted the interview. But it's a classic interview. This is back in Google Hangout days. So we did an interview. He gave a lot of information when I first um, heard him, when I first seen him speak, I was like, yo, oh, shit. This kid is special. Um, for his age, I never heard nobody speak like that, know as much as he knew. So I was trying to figure out, like, how the hell? Shit, when I was his age, I was a complete, um, I don't say a knucklehead, but I was so into music that the stuff that he was able to um, teach and say, I was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I thought it was dope. I took a liking to him. He had a lecture in Nicholas, Brooklyn. And I went there because he was there. And I was like, yo, hold on. I want to I wanna pull up on him. I want to meet him personally. Um, throughout all his issues, throughout all his beefs, throughout all, I never got involved in none of that. Um, it wasn't my thing. And even some of the stuff that I'm now seeing took place with him as far as stuff with his his uh his family, his children. I never got involved in that and I never looked at it because it wasn't my business. See, I don't get involved in people's personal life. I don't get involved in people domestic stuff because a lot of people got domestic stuff. So I didn't take a blow by blow, play by play of what was going on. I didn't. Um, but some of the stuff that I started hearing via the Tasha K interview and just some of the other stuff coming up, I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong with my dude? Um, some people say he's crazy. Some people blaming drugs. Some people blaming different things. 
Maybe he is crazy. Maybe he has some type of substance abuse problems. I don't know. But I can say this. I see somebody who need help. I see somebody that I know personally that need help. I see somebody that don't need me to kick them. I never, I see somebody that don't need me to make this videos. Now he went against a lot of people doctrines. He went against, he, he, he went, took, took, took it to a lot of people, leaders, a lot of people, uh, belief systems. He did a lot of that, but. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And all I could do as a homie is say, yo, stay strong. Fuck this shit. This right here. Fuck this shit. Stay strong. Um, you a warrior. Remember, you're not a victim of none. You survive of many things. You got where you at for a reason. You're going to go through shit. This is not the end of your struggle. It's not the end of nobody's struggle. But you got all through all of those things for a reason. you here for a reason. You know what your purpose is. I, I hear you um, express disappointment. That you feel like some of the people that you fought for, some of the people that you really, really wanted to help you feel like they don't support you they turn their back on you i think i know i know that frustration i know that frustration but i'm gonna say to you this you know do what you gotta do do what you gotta do to get yourself together because you're no good to your children your family or anybody if you in a weakened state, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Um, do whatever it is you have to do. Don't be, uh, uh, don't allow people to use you. It's easy for me to hit you up and say, let's do an interview and quiz you. And all. I don't even wanna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather see you back strong, teaching, doing what you love and being who I was introduced to. Um, if you are going through something up here, mental illness is real. Mental illness is real in our community. You done been locked up. <laughs> you done, you know, you you had a rough life as we all did, but, but, you built for this shit. You was chosen. You ain't fall out the you didn't you didn't just come out of nowhere. You was chosen. You was chosen. You gonna be alright, man. You gonna be alright. Just take the time that you need to get yourself together. It has nothing to do with mental illness, it has nothing to do with substance abuse. Just get yourself together where you say, yo, you know what? I'm a fall back. I'm a fall back. Cause it's easy for me to jump on a bandwagon and say, oh, this, this nigga crazy. This nigga did that. Nah. Because the issue is once something happens to you fatal, or if you happen to meet your demise, people start saying or wondering what they could have did to help do to help you. But you have to help you. You have to help you. It ain't. It can't come from us. It can't come from anybody else. It gotta come from you. You in there somewhere. This just a shell. You and you, the, the the kid that I met about seven years ago. He in there somewhere, and he dying to come back out. He dying, he dying to come back out. This shit going to pass. You're going to be able to educate people or when you went through. Um, It happened to a lot of great people. It happened to Marvin Gaye. 
It happened to Richard Pryor. It happened to a lot of people. A lot of people uh, uh, been through shit. And when you're young and you take the weight of the world on your shoulders, sometimes that shit can compound and you could lose it. So I'm not going to laugh at your potential mental illness. I'm not going to laugh at your potential substance abuse. I'm not going to uh, 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 laugh at your potential pain. My shit is just yo. You in there. You in there. Warriors in there. Just come back out fighting. And then you're going to be able to educate for other people who might have went through what you're going through. That's your job. That's what you've been anointed as a teacher. You know what I'm saying? You've been anointed as a teacher. So, again, I wish you all the best. Um, I'm rooting for you. You got a lot of toning to do with yourself and others. You got a lot of peace to make with yourself first and others. And you're going to be all right. But I definitely um, don't take any pleasure in seeing you in where, how you are right now. Shit ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? This, this shit ain't cool. I don't like it. Um, I feel like looking at, you know, my homie, like, and again, I ain't going to sit here and act like we close and we best friends or nothing like that. But again, we did. I pulled up for you before. Remember, we show each other the knives. I'm like, yo, I'm here. I'm here. If anybody act crazy, like I got this knife and you pulled out a Crocodile Dundee 2. And we's like, yeah, look at these knives. So, I, you know, when you was in Brooklyn, I did pull up for you to let you know, yo, I'm here. You know, and this is early on. I'm let you know, yo, I'm here. If anything, um, I'm here with you. I don't know if you got security or bodyguard, but I'm here. You in Brooklyn, you in my town. I felt it was only right that I pulled up and stand with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. So, again, um, whatever it is you going through, you built for this shit. Get through it. Come back stronger. Come back bigger. And even if you don't come back, don't feel rushed. Don't feel less than for taking time to just recharge, rejuvenate, and re-energize. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. What our people, our people been through a lot. And many of us act out. And the actions is not justified. But when people are mentally ill or going through mental illness or whatever the case may be, they do shit that's not right. Seriously. They do shit that's not right. So what is the remedy for that? What's the solution? The solution is for them to get right. That's the solution. So that's all we can hope for. And you'll get right. Just get, just get back. Make, make peace with yourself. Make peace with yourself first. And once you can make peace with yourself and get back to, you know, uh, a good space, then people might come to you and say, yo, bro, you hurt me like this. You did this to me. You did this to me. And you might not even realize you did some of the shit you did because I could see somebody just broken right now. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could see that shit. So again, I'm out of here, but I'm telling you, get back to you. Um, just get yourself together. You got them babies. You got people who love you, even though you might even wrong them, you know, but I think it's people, even you wronging them, they know who you are when you in your right state. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm just not going to be one of the people to report how fucked up you are. And yo, he died. I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do that to you. Because you always showed me love. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you need an ear, if you want a bill, reach out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't I don't want to get in your personal business. I don't want to know none of your personal business. The shit that I seen, I wasn't too happy with. I don't have no judgment on it. But I'm just saying you got to get, yo, di that real dude, he in there. He in there. You just got to fight. And it's going to come. It's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no choice anyway, man. You ain't got no choice but to come back. Straight up. Don't piss me off. You ain't got no choice but to come back bigger, better, stronger, and faster. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, bro. Take your time. There's no pressure. Stop trying to take the weight. Like, I'm telling you, pressure bust pipes. And I know that. You processing all this information. You taking in all this information. You trying to put this information here. You trying to do this here. You trying to do it. You trying to do that. <laughs> then an explosion goes in on your head that nobody sees. An explosion goes on in your head that nobody sees. You know how I know this? You know how I know this all so well? Because it happened to me. It's just that I knew how to hide it. I knew how to hide it, but I would go in a room and break down. But I knew how to put on a, a happy face in front of people until I couldn't hide it no more. There was no internet then. I wasn't in front of the public then. Nobody knew how to deal with me. Nobody knew how to, uh, uh, um, nobody knew how to, to help me because I was the strong one. How do you know, how do you help the strongest one? They didn't know what to do. So I had to figure it out. It took some time. But I'm here to speak about it. I'm here to tell you, yo, I've been sad as hell. I've been <laughs> depressed as a motherfucker. I done been through all types of shit in my life. Young Young dude from the hood who dealt with a lot of trauma, a lot of shit. Sometimes, poof, you know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens to the best of us. But look at me. I bounce back bigger, stronger, faster. But I ain't going to front. I did seek professional help. I did go sit down and talk to somebody. I couldn't black power my way out of certain shit i went and spoke to a, a a black woman that was a um psychologist and she gave me different coping mechanisms and different things to deal with what i was going through you know what i'm saying so again you good you know what i'm saying you're gonna be all right you ain't got no choice you know what i'm saying you ain't got no choice but you're gonna be good man you know what i'm saying you you gonna be good but you know a lot of us is pulling for you the people who's not pulling for you that don't matter somebody said but you're not on dogs you're not on drugs doggy yeah but I was alcoholic different drug you know what I'm saying so it's different it's layers it's layers you know what I'm saying it's layers to it so we want our people we want our people to succeed. We want our people to be great. But then we pick and choose who we want it for. And if he said something I didn't like 10 years ago, fuck him forever. If he went against my doctrine, fuck him forever. If I gave him $5 and he didn't give me my $5 back, fuck him forever. This is how we are. But the people who <laughs> did the most atrocious, the, the atrocious shit to us in history and still doing it, we don't got that same smoke for. Again, many people not going to like this video. I expect rebuttals. I expect people to be mad at me. Whatever I'm talking about. Again. What are we to do? 
somebody crying for help? Do we help them or do we say fuck them? I always ask you, who was our people? Who was our people? You know what I'm saying? Who was our people? We always say our people. Who was our people? Yo, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. Until next time.